Thank you very much. Distinguished members of the business community of Italia, government officials, ladies and gentlemen. I'm delighted to be here today and it is my privilege to address the distinguished members of the Italian business community. I thank you very much for organizing and hosting this very important event and appreciate the opportunity to talk with you about Armenian economy and for developing Armenian Italian ties. The Armenian Italian relations have a century old history. These relations were not limited by the economic benefits only, as they were always running parallel to the scientific and cultural, humanitarian, contribution, cooperation, innovation, and technolo technological exchange. We believe that modern Today, the two countries have significant cooperation in the economic, social, and humanitarian spheres. Trade and cooperation is a component of our relations. It is Armenia's second largest trade and economic partner among the EU countries. In the first nine months of this year alone, trade between the two countries increased by about 14 percent. Let me inform you that only in the recent few weeks Italian Sartis and Keramita companies opened their manufacturing branches in Armenia. Just 15 days ago Telecom Italia Sparkle signed a joint venture with the Armenian Ucom to provide internet services. In July, we launched the construction of a 250 combined cycle gas turbine power plant in Yerevan. This project is implemented by Italian company Renka with an investment of about 250 million US dollars. The Italian state-run Siemens and German Siemens companies are also involved in the investment program. Renko has been engaged in business activities in Armenia since the early 2000s and has invested in hotels, luxury housing and office building. In addition, in June 2019, we hosted an Armenian-Italian business forum the first business forum with the participation of foreign investors taking place in Armenia after the Velvet Nonviolent People's Revolution of 2018. Today, Armenia is a country of fundamental transformations which opens wide prospects for the economic cooperation with Italy and other European partners. After the Velvet Revolution of 2018, we initiated reforms to modernize our political and economic institutions so as the, to strengthen democracy and establish conditions conducive for the economic growth and development. In this regard, we have already reached significant achievements. We have succeeded in eradicating systemic corruption. We have eliminated, uh, eliminated oligopolies, monopolies used to exercise political influence to gain economic results. We reinforced the rule of law and established a level playing field for all, for all economic players. We are currently undertaking robust measures to reform our judiciary so as to have truly independent and efficiently working courts. Today we are also changing the way we manage our economy. I believe that the reforms and economic revolution undertaken in Armenia would have a long-lasting effect on the country's 
economic development. Meanwhile, let me share with you some, res uh, some results already recorded in Armenia. In 2018, we registered a 5.2% econ of economic growth and maintained a low inflation rate. These are very positive results of a, for a revolutionary era. Positive dynamics continues this year too. In the first six months of 2019, we had 6.5% of GDP growth. We had a 9% increase in exports. And recently, Moody's has improved Armenian rating to BA3. In September 2019, we issued $500 million euro bonds with a maturity of 10 years and coupon rate of 3.9%. The Armenian euro bonds was four times bigger than the offering. It has at least demonstrated uh, foreign investors' trust in our economy policy and the ongoing structure, structural reforms. These results are promising, however, there is much more than has to be done yet. Dear colleagues, if you ask me why you should invest in Armenia, my answer will be the following. Investing in a small country with gl global networks and skilled labor force is quite promising. Our government aims at introducing technological education developing soft skills and helping students to identify their aptitude through investing in primary, vocational, and higher education. Armenia prov provides an excellent opportunity for investors in high-tech industry and specifically in information technologies. Armenia has the potential to become internet traffic hub for our wider region. Last month, we hosted the World Congress of, on Information Technologies, one of the largest and most prestigious ICT events in the world. Banking, tourism, agriculture, manufacturing, renewables, and textile are also attractive for foreign investment. It is a particular pleasure to inform you that recently Yerevan was included among Bookings.com top trending destination for 2020. In addition, in 2019, Armenia has improved its position by five points in the Tourism competi Competitiveness <coughs> Index presented by the World <coughs> Economic Forum. By the way, in 2019, we have already, as a result of uh, 10 months, we have already 14% of growth in our tourism. Uh, tourist Armenia. And by the way, from January uh, 2020, Ranair is starting direct flight from Milan and Rome Two and our government implements an open door policy toward foreign investment, providing for the full property ownership. An impeded access to any sector with no restriction for personal recruitment, free and unlimited repatriation of profits, unlimited currency exchange on market rates and guarantees against nation. The five-year year other clause protecting foreign investors against investment-related legislation changes is also a part of our investment framework. By the way, within recent uh, one and a half years, we had very positive uh, amendment in our tax code. Um, uh, we have reduced uh, our income tax 
and the revenue tax, and now we have flat income tax, 23%, uh, and now we are going to continue this process and um, to make uh, our income tax even lower, 20% flat tax. And, and revenue tax also was reduced uh, to 18%. With regard to international economic relations, Armenia has bilateral treaties on investment promotion and protection with 43 countries, <laughs> including the United States. Armenia is a member of the International Center for Settlement of Investment Disputes. We have treaties on avoidance of double taxation and the prevention of fiscal evasion with 46 countries. This means that the investors of contracting parties are granted a number of guarantees, in particular national treatment, protection from expropriation, free transfer of means, and full protection security. According to the World Bank, Armenia is ranked 47th among 190 countries at ease of doing business. By ease of starting business, Armenia is the 10th and by registering a property is the 13th in the world. According to the Index of Economic Freedom, Armenia is the 47th in the world. And I could promise officially that in all those directions, the uh, uh, rates of Armenia will improve continuously and uh, I, I, I could guarantee that as a Prime Minister of Armenia. Dear friends, some, some may claim that Armenia has a small market. I would challenge such a point of view. Armenia has an, an, an impeded access to the market of the European Economic Union with about 180 million consumers. The European Economic Union has agreements with Singapore, Vietnam, Iran and Serbia. FTS are under the negotiation with India, Israel and Egypt. An agreement of economic cooperation facilitates and investment between the European Economic Union and China was also signed last year. As you know, Armenia is a member of the European Union and now we are chair country in European Economic Union. But also, Armenian producers benefit from GSP plus preferential treatment with the European Union and GSP with the United States and some other countries. Armenia is deepening cooperation with the European Union through the comprehensive and enhanced partnership agreement. With the United States, we have a trade and investment framework agreement which provides strategic framework and principles for dialogue on trade and investment issues. Dear friends, in a, rel a relatively short time, we have managed to transform Armenia into a country with equal opportunities for all, providing incentives for businesses and startups and making our country a better investment destination. My call and my message today is to join our efforts to build new Armenia, unite our strength to make Armenia competitive and attractive to live. Thank you very much for your attention. Ah, but we're